I don't know what's You're going shaking on. like it's like... Yeah, because who would it? Not only that, you got on? scratches all over you and stuff like that. What's going on? Talk to me. I have no idea what's you going tell, on. You tell it exactly. Today, we live in difficult and odd times, where predators are all around us and have become smarter than ever before. But the following cases prove how some of America's finest with badges catch these criminals in the act. In a tragic twist captured on body cam, witness the shocking events related to 33-year-old Kyla Arce and her boyfriend, Paul Henry. It all started on September 17, 2023, when deputies from the Broward County Sheriff's Office arrived on the scene after several neighbors complained about shouting from the couple's residence. I screamed, help me, basically. I opened the door and, and the opened door the door closed. and then she got back in, closed the door, and you hear tons of stuff screaming. And Knocking around. Sounds like there's a struggle going on there's inside, a big basically. struggle going on. Over there? Yes, yeah. Yeah. And I would totally like, I want to make sure she's okay. Uh, you got a picture of the roommate's car. And so, the roommate came out of the building. I took a picture of his car. Oh, he left? Driving out. Yeah, no, I took a picture of his license plate. He drove away. Yeah, the roommate oh, came out of the building and said that the guy's not abusive and that's his best friend and he's known him forever. And when I asked him, well, why would a female scream at the top of her lungs, help me, he just goes, yeah, I don't know. And then he walks away and leaves. So the roommate's inside there too? There, there was there was two guys. The roommate left. He got in the... This right here got cars. a picture of his car. I got three people talking. A neighbor questioned Paul's roommate about the screams and cries for help. He claimed that Paul was not abusive and that he was not aware of why she was screaming at the top of her lungs. Having given this statement, the roommate left the couple alone. A month after this date, police officers discovered Kyla was viciously murdered by her boyfriend, Paul. Brown County Sheriff's Office. Brown County Sheriff's Office. You're at the door, so open it up. The sheriffs can hear Paul moving around inside, but he refused to open the door even after persistent knocking. Open the door, it's the sheriff's office. All right, due to exigent circumstances, we're 10 for. Due to exigent circumstances, if we have to go ahead and break the door down or get someone with the key to open the door, we will. We just need to find out if everybody's okay. Do you hear it's still in your apartment or no? You're at the door, so Every, open it up. Every day. Every day. I can hear you at the door. Open the door, it's the sheriff's office. After about 10 minutes of banging on the door, sheriff's deputies plan to break it down. Extra circumstances, somebody yelling in now. They said they heard this one. Yeah, they come up to the door and they kind of, yeah, you can hear it. You can hear them pressing up against. They're probably looking at you right now. After giving Paul 10 minutes to open the door, the deputies decided to call the fire and rescue department to come and break it down. I mean, if they want here. their door open, force them around. That's okay. That's fine. Because <laughs> the fire, the fire rescue, gonna all come and open this door, and then we're gonna come in. Lumbro Five, can you uh, have rescue respond out here and help us with some fourth entry? Come out to the door. This is just me being instructional to you. I want you to listen up. Fire rescue is gonna come, and they're gonna go ahead and breach the door. It's gonna be damage to this door, so I don't. I just advise you to open the door now. For us to find out, if they have to breach the door, people are going to be put in handcuffs and to detain until we find out what's going on. It's just my warning to you, my first and final warning. Okay. 
Do you need a se second set of hands? When the sheriffs break down the door, they notice that Paul and Kyla have exited their house from the garage and were using a golf cart to run away when the officers catch them asking them to drop the keys. There's no way in the world you didn't hear us knocking at that door. Turn it off, throw the keys down. Throw the keys down. Throw the keys down. Throw the keys down. You got any guns, knives, weapons, anything on you need we, we need to know about? Oh, Nothing at all? At all. Okay. Why didn't you guys all come to the door? Why didn't you come to the door? We banged. Why are you shaking so? Why are you so, so why are you so why are you shaking? You guys just came out of nowhere. I just Okay, well, you we came out of nowhere. You heard us knocking on that door the whole time. We literally yeah. are going to You didn't to hear us knocking. Place. We're banging oh. the hell out of the door. Why didn't you guys open, come to the door? We're we down the door. stairs. We banged pretty hard. Why are you hard. shaking so? Why are you so, so why are you so why are you shaking? You guys just came out of nowhere. I just okay, well, you we came out of nowhere. You heard us knocking on that door the whole time. Upon confrontation, it's observed that Paul is nervous and shaking. The cops asked them why they did not respond to the knocking and come out of their house. Kyla responded to this by saying that they were downstairs while Paul said that he was in the shower. Kyla also apologized to the sheriff for not coming to the door as she did not hear them. We literally are going you didn't to hear us knocking. We're banging no. the hell out of the door. Okay, My so hands I are red. Banging that that the door. And you didn't hear us. We're downstairs. Anybody else inside? I'm sorry. No, no, Nobody no else is inside. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. What's your first name? Uh, Kyla. Spell it for me. K Y L A A R C E. Whoa, whoa, whoa. K Y L A. A R C E. A R C E. Yes. How do you spell it? Say it. Kyla Arce. Kyla Arce. K Y L A R C E. I'm so sorry. You guys had to come out here. And well, so if you guys hard. would open the door, you this would. This is brand new. No, I'm good. Thank you. What's your. Uh, did you get a breath, Kyla? 052190. What's your last name? A-R-C-E. A-R-C-E, so it's Kyla A-R-C-E? Yeah. What's like, your middle name? Um, in my driver's in my side, Sin Pao. Sin Pao. Do you have a middle name? Well, it's Kyla Alexander Sin Pao. Are you guys married? No. Okay. Do you live here with them? Yes. Kyla is informed that her neighbors had reported screams and stuff being thrown around, glass breaking, and her cries for help. Kyla does not respond to any of the reports and said that they were watching a show. The deputy then separates the pair to try to get some information out of her. Away from your, your I friend, uh, I'm not saying you did anything wrong. Okay. I'm just asking about what's going on. Why are your neighbors saying this? Why are your neighbors saying all this about you? About I mean, you're screaming for help, help. That's why we had to break in your door. Your door is broken. The fireman popped it. You gotta get the association to fix your door. Are you serious? No, I'm dead serious. All right? Um, We're banging on the door, banging on the door. Like I just told you, my hands are red, and his hands are red from banging on the door. There is no way you could not hear us. I'm so sorry. What's going on? Nothing at all, I promise you. Nothing at all. I'm not pressing charges. Nothing at all. Not pressing? Why would you not press charges? Why, I don't even you, know how to say the lingo of the cops thing, but well, like... Why would you not press charges? About what? Kyla kept talking to the sheriff and kept looking at Paul over her shoulder saying she is not pressing charges. And nothing was going on which was obviously a blatant lie. Nothing's going on. 100%. How long have you been with We're watching. Together? We've been together for two years. We're good. No problems ever. No, no problems. Neighbors that have been hearing things throughout the middle of the night. Yes. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. So they're lying. Literally yesterday my freaking plants fell from the backyard and I just started cry crying because I just couldn't do it at late at night. Okay, Maybe so, that's it. So then what you tell me is all the neighbors standing out here behind me that called us. Yes. And your neighbors that live on your floor there, the second floor there, yeah. are all lying. I'm not saying they're lying. I don't know what their perception is they're with like you're whatever. For help. Okay. Right, and the fact that we're banging and banging and banging, and once we get in, you guys try to pull away. Because we're not. I don't. I didn't really hear you like that. Were you guys there. sitting in the garage the whole time? We're, no, we're like sitting in the room, we're about to go get breakfast. And you didn't hear us banging on the door? No. That's it. Tyler, I, I find that hard to believe. Yes, we were right. ringing the bell. Okay, so did no, you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did your, did your bell go, no. go to the phone or his phone? No. Why do you guys have a video bell? Um, it doesn't go to mine. Uh, his? Well, Kyla claims she and Paul never had problems and that they had been together for two years. 
Meanwhile, one of the officers went over to question Paul on this issue. The situation didn't even have to go this far. Well, I don't know what's talking about. Bro. I get it. I don't know what's You're going shaking on. like it's like. Yeah, because who would it? Not only that, you got scratches on? all over you and stuff like that. What's going on? Talk to me. I have no idea what's you going tell, on. You tell us exactly. I have how no we have you, how do you have on. nothing what's going on, dude? You're coming out of the garage. You're shaking like crazy. You got scratches all over you. I get I'm it. I'm shaking because all of a sudden someone just blocked So you live here with someone else? That's just. That's by myself. You live here by yourself, or she, who is she to you? She's my girlfriend. Okay, so who was the other dude that was here? A friend? Okay, so what happened? Nothing, we were just hanging out and watched TV, and that's it. But everybody was yelling and screaming. You got neighbors over here, and people, don't, know people don't even live screaming. here saying that she was screaming at the top of her lungs, something was going on. Look, I'm not trying to make a story up. I don't understand. Let's and I don't, wanna, I don't wanna make you feel uncomfortable more than what you are in the situation. But the thing is, bro, we're trying to find out. This is more of a life or death situation. I understand. It's called exigent I don't circumstances. Understand what's on going on out of nowhere? Paul was sweating and chugging on water constantly as he claimed to have nothing to do with what was going on. The officers knew that something was off and kept pressing him. That's what I'm confused about. So why when we were knocking on the door, you just didn't so come confused. to the door? We're downstairs. I'm in the shower. She's watching the show and then we're downstairs. Go yeah. All right, check it out. This is the garage. I know the format of these because mm -hmm. I've been in one. That's your downstairs right here. Your upstairs is up there. Just hear me out because you live here, right? You pay rent here. I mean, you pay your mortgage here every month, right? So the thing is, I know the difference. This is downstairs. You weren't downstairs. No, we were knocking is, on this there's door. There's a bedroom down here on the bottom. Floor. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Okay, but I'm pretty sure you heard us banging on this door. Look, I, I, what, I, look, I, I can't, I can't, I can't make you tell us what's I going on. All the time, I hear things going all the time, so I don't know. Yeah. What is what? When you live right next to each other, you hear things all the time. So well, I don't know what. your neighbors and everybody heard you screaming. And then she's not answering, so therefore that gives us even more of a suspicious incident where we got to go and find out who, who's alive and who's dead or, or see if anybody's okay. That's where we're coming from. Okay, I mean, yeah, but everyone's fine. I mean, I get it. Uh, okay. The sheriff asked Paul to open the bedroom door, to which he refused further, indicating that he was in the wrong. He said it's a bedroom right here. Open this up for me. Well, we've already opened the door. I'm just asking you to open it up because so we don't have to go back up. Because I can go back up and go back in. I'm already, I've, I've already have, look, look, look. I have a I have a lawful right to be in that home to make sure there is a bedroom. nothing's going. Okay, so open the door, let us check, and then we're good. What is it? What is the reason? I don't understand. She's here. I'll hold check if she's walking in the garage. That's it. Yeah, he's saying it's a bedroom down there. That's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to cooperate. We're, we're good. I just asked him to open the thing because uh, it's so the door is already open and we have lawful right to be here. So just open the thing. Guy, like they think someone else is in the house. And that's what they're trying to say to me. They want to make sure it wasn't me. Yeah, like, there's no one else in. Okay, well open it up. Okay, well open it up then. For what? Okay, well I'll just go. I just go upstairs and go. Okay. Kyla repeatedly apologized to the cops, explaining that she was working on her computer downstairs and unaware that Paul had a friend over who had just left. He just said his friend was here and his friend just left. Now tell me the truth. Yeah, but I'm downstairs. There's too many people. Listen to what I just said. Yeah. He just told myself and this deputy that nobody else is here. He said his friend was here and his friend left. Is so now you're saying that. She so now you got conflicting stories. She may not know because she doesn't go upstairs to see you. Well, how do you not know when you've been in the house the whole time? There's three, like, like it's too, it's too much. I barely hear anybody downstairs. I work on my computer, and nothing's going on. I don't know. It was Everything's good. Everything's good. Look at me. Okay. Look at my face. I'm good. And how long have y'all so been together? Sorry you guys Couple have years. Couple years. Y'all have any children involved? I'm trying to. You're trying to. Yeah, okay. Sorry. You guys married? Yeah. Just boyfriend and girlfriend. Just been dating. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I didn't in realize future, that we were. I'm we, not done yet, but in the future, if we're knocking on the door, just, hi, hello. <laughs> Look, now your door is off the hinge, so. And you have to fix that. Seriously? 
because the exigent circumstances due to the state of Florida. If anybody's in in dire danger or anything and like that, so we have to respond. Because anyone could be yelling out of any window, and you can't pinpoint. No I mean, I know that no one's here anymore, but every one of your neighbors is standing outside, concerned with your well-being. So we're knocking okay, on the I door. Poor Kyla felt threatened and intimidated, and constantly refused to say anything in her defense. However, if she had had the courage to speak something against this predator, things might have turned out a lot different. You see what I'm saying? Okay, now I get it. I didn't know that you said, oh, I didn't And I'm not talking about two people. We're talking yeah, about four or five it. people okay, out here saying no, that they heard you screaming. Are we missing? No, I mean, nothing. He just, he left, but so I'm the boss? only one here. So what are you about then? I'm the only one, maybe he just... I don't know. I see the perspective. My supervisor now. asked you a, well, well, a direct question. So I mean, nothing. I just. You're yelling about nothing. You're just like going around yelling and screaming for no reason? I wasn't yelling and screaming like that. So, so what were you mad at? Like 20 neighbors standing up yeah. here telling us listen, yeah, We know what happened. We're wondering why. Okay. Just yelling and screaming. Well, what were you doing? Why were you yelling? Yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's not normal to yell and scream. Unless you're crazy. So so look, we're not here. Look, basically, we're not, we're not here to get y'all in trouble. Yeah. We're not here. So I guess what you're saying is that someone screaming and then the mail came out just like so rapidly. Yeah, and, and they also gave us the perfect description. They said, you two were still inside. Yeah, so I guess we... That's when the cops decided to head back to the police station empty-handed. Sadly, just 36 days after this incident, Kyla was brutally murdered by Paul. Moreover, he even tried to murder his father by shooting at him twice. Fortunately, the father made it out alive, and the crazy predator was finally arrested by the cops and was later charged with one count of premeditated murder, one count of premeditated attempted murder, and one count of resisting arrest with violence. Well, this predator might be the worst, but the next case takes a chilling turn as a creepy stalker is arrested. Never think with your heart. Never think with your heart. Never ever think with your heart. I'm supposed to go without her the rest of my life. On March 24th, 2023, deputies responded to a call from a woman who asked for help when an intruder, later identified as Tom, was trying to break into her house. Never in a relationship, not, no. So it's just a friend. And right. it was, but we haven't talked for for years, and he kept showing up. Is he welcome to your home? No. Have you ever invited him here? No, he's like he was my best friend for seven. He has even met him before, and then he just like lost his shit. Uh, a friend uh, tried to three years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. I haven't seen him in two years. Just yeah. kind of infatuated with her and... Blurred body cam footage and a heated conversation revealed that the woman did not know this man. He used to be a friend of a friend, but even that friend had not been in contact with her for over two years, yet he kept showing up. He was in his back patio. Yes, he was in the back patio. And he was trying to get through the Oh, yeah. He, he, look, he looks through the window, this window, he was looking through all the windows, and I saw him there. I told him uh, to run because he kept on trying to have a conversation and trying to, like, pull my, pull the fucking door open. Was he doing anything else to the door besides trying to pull it open? Well, he was banging on the window. He was banging on the window. Yeah. Um, to the point where I thought he was going to break the glass, so I sent my daughter into the room and told her to lock the door. Okay. Yeah. Were you scared? I was yeah. yeah. With her daughter in the house, she instructed her to go into the bedroom and lock the door as this man banged on the window, asking her to open it as he just wanted to talk. When she did not comply, Tom started pulling on her door, and that's when she dialed 911. I like, I've, I've done everything. He's like, fine, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. So he leaves and runs and hops on in his truck and speeds off down the street. How many times have you changed your phone number? Three times? Three times? Yeah. And it's all been because of him? Yeah. Messages and packages to my house. Um, but I think the last time, uh, well, he caught me in the middle of the road. But before then, the last time, it was 4th, I think it was 4th of July, he dropped me off a bottle of whiskey and some fireworks. It was bizarre to think that a stalker would go down this route. But this is what the doorbell footage showed. The deputy quickly initiated a traffic stop and proceeded to arrest the creep, who was about to go on a tiring rant. Okay. You know, she said, I don't want to be friends anymore. You've, you've pushed it too far, which I didn't think I'd ask that many times, but okay. She, uh, I think she blocked my number, so I tried emailing her. 
And she blocked me on that, and then she blocked me on all social media. So, I mean, I've had no way to contact her except to show up. And here's the funny and confusing thing that she's told me before, that if I ever really just wanted to talk to her, then to just come talk to her. She's told me that in the past. Tom admitted that she did not want to be friends anymore. She had blocked his number, his emails, and his socials, so he had no other way of contacting her other than showing up because she had told him in the past that if he ever wanted to talk to her, he could show up. I mean, like I said, man, I really wasn't trying to cause any trouble. I really just wanted my best friend to talk to me. And now I'm sitting here with you with cuffs on and the back of a cruiser, my truck's been towed, like, dude, I was just trying to see if I could talk to her, and if not, I was gonna go about my day, go about my life. That's it, that's all I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to to create a problem, man. I was actually trying to solve one, at least. I got you, do you have any scars, marks, or tattoos? Uh, yeah, I've got a Marine Corps emblem tattoo on my left chest. He claimed that he wanted no trouble and just wanted to talk to his best friend, and if she didn't want to, he would not have forced her and would have gone about his day and life. Single, married, divorced? Single. Single? I was trying really? to get married. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> uh, I guess it's good I can crack jokes. Hey, listen, you just gotta roll with the punches, man. What, um, what um, religion? Uh, I don't know, Jedi? Jedi? Okay. Can I put that? Sure, why not? I'm so, I feel like I'm just wasting y'all's time to... You could be out doing something way more important than this BS drama. Gotcha. I'm so done with her. I tried. I tried... S just... Just wanted to love her. That's all I wanted. I got a question for you, okay. just because realm of possibility sort of thing. Let's say she rescinds the order. Hell, I would have, I would have just, if she just would have talked to me and at least explained to me why she's done with me, then I could have at least gotten that. But like, no explanation, dude. No nothing, just poof. Maybe she wants to see me make that extra effort and, and show my face and actually be there, you know? Idiot. I am such a idiot. Never think with your heart. Never think with your heart. Never ever think with your heart. Never think with your heart, Tom. Idiot. God, I'm so stupid. How am I supposed to go without her the rest of my life? <laughs> I loved her so much. Why won't you fucking talk to me? Just wanna be my friend. Just keep her away from me. Hey, you know what? I was looking for a sign. I guess I got it. Idiot. I could be at home playing Xbox right now or watching Star Trek, or cleaning up my house, or doing that load of dishes that needs to be done. Tom spoke to the cop, sitting in the handcuffs in the back seat of the cop car, that he just wanted to love her and to marry her. It's crazy to even think that this guy thought he was doing nothing wrong while stalking her. Tom displayed extremely erratic behavior while he was handcuffed in the back of the car. Tom was charged with burglary to an occupied dwelling and stalking. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we saw two very distinct predators, but they share one common trait. Both are a menace to society and should be arrested and locked up. Particularly distressing was the first case, where a crazed predator went so far as to kill his innocent girlfriend. We can only hope that he receives a lifetime sentence behind bars. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.